let's face it, typically robotics and robots aren't cheap. In terms of the initial cost, maintenance, and the need for extra components, robots need to be programmed with artificial intelligence and programmed to do the task. So if this is true, then how do we get to the year 2077? Fast forwarding the speech about the future of civilization with fully autonomous flying cars and an EVTOL Airbus station and Hyperloop bullet trains in every district connecting us to any district across the world, but rather focusing on our fully autonomous robotic companions that will walk among us in 2077. I was reading a comment someone wrote on one of my videos the other day and this person wrote, robots are the future with or without us, which is true to any physical material piece of technology, but not putting the notion out there that robots will replace our human species, but in a sense that typically a human being lives to about a hundred years old while fully autonomous robots can live forever. And so if humans truly only live once, a cheap humanoid female robot companion technically doesn't exist. Rewinding and highlighting the word cheap, cheap humanoid female robot companions do not exist. Or else, how do you put a price on an everlasting companionship? Priceless. Brain time. Congratulations. You made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. Scientists and robotic engineers believe that in the future, we can expect robots to carry out more complex medical procedures such as diagnosing illnesses and performing surgeries with greater precision. And when we think of robots like Grace, who was developed by Hansen Robotics during the pandemic, as well as the robotic nurses in Bangkok that have been aiding in short-staffed hospitals over the years, we can say the breakthrough with medical science and robotics is halfway there. Additionally, robots have been known to help with patient care, such as helping with physical therapy and providing companionship to lonely patients. Enthusiasts and scientists say that robots can improve our quality of life and make the world a better place, not by replacing humans, but by working effectively together. Nowadays, there is no debate that robots are more efficient at manufacturing goods than humans. A few weeks ago, I made a video talking about the price and what future AI in robotics would cost. A quick Google shopping search will bring up a variety of different humanoid robots that you can purchase for as low as 30 US dollars. But then, probably not the humanoid robot that you envision. Because when we think about humanoid robots, we think of human-like robots with giant boobs and artificial intelligence and the perfect bodies. At least that's what I envision, but maybe I've been watching too many YouTube videos. A quick Google search, a thousand dollars and a credit card, and you can get a love doll sent to your house in a matter of days. See what I did there? Not use the S word, but rather called them love dolls. Trying to keep the video clean, but that's really all it is. Because for less than a thousand dollars, sure you could find yourself a lifelike blow up doll that feels truly realistic, but it's going to be missing the AI and the brain. And that's what we're pushing for the future to be all about, right? The global humanoid robot market size 
was accounted at 1.62 billion US dollars in 2022. And it's said to be expected to reach around 28.66 billion by 2032. And if you divide 28.66 billion by 1.62 billion, which is the market size today, that's more than a 17x, 17 times the market size by 2032. When electric vehicles first became popular in the 2000s, they didn't come without people speaking up against them. Of course, here in the year 2023, we all know how that turned out. And so a lot of the negative feedback about electric vehicles was really just coming from other car manufacturers and salesmen who weren't making or selling electric vehicles at the time. Now, of course, every car manufacturer is getting into the electric EV car game. And so one of the biggest negative things people would say, and I know because I was actually selling Volkswagens back in 2006. And one of the things I would say when someone would walk into the dealership asking which was a better choice, an electric Toyota Prius or a TDI turbo diesel Jetta? Well, I would always say, and of course, it's because I wanted to sell a Volkswagen. But so I would say, if you're thinking about the future and the environment, what do you think is going to happen to all the batteries in these electric cars in 30 to 40 years when they're all just sitting in a junkyard somewhere? And today, this is still very much and more so now an issue many car manufacturers deal with as they find more ways to reuse and recycle EV batteries. Okay, so what does this have to do with robots? Well, we're going to get to that because... Although these issues are very real, the fact is the electric EV car battery problem is still a better direction for the future by lowering global carbon emissions from gasoline powered vehicles. So if the same were said about humanoid robots, female robots, well, the answer would be simple. These robots last forever and could easily be reused and recycled. So really, it isn't even a topic. But moreover, and a humanoid robot shouldn't be questioned. It's proven that robots improve our quality of life. And following the pandemic, I don't think anyone can question whether or not the entire world could use some improved quality of life. In addition to assisting people with disabilities, modern technologies, including robots and AI, contribute to the development of digital health, all while, of course, contributing to society. Robots save workers from performing dangerous tasks and so much more. In fact, the only real threat humanoid robots or artificial intelligent female love dolls pose would probably be towards women. And that right there is truly the post-apocalyptic scenario. Rather than the notion of robots surpassing humans, rather the human race no longer populating. Of course, because these robotic human-like female companions were perfect and artificially intelligent with giant boobs. So surely women would need to step up, be more assertive, or rather just more available. See what I did there? I really like that. Just be available. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got. If you like this video and you want to watch more videos like it, make sure you check out all my other videos. And if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe. Till next time, catch you in the next one. プロローグ、聞いてください。
In this year's demo, the robot utilized a system for singing using a human singer as a model. This enables it to sing with a more natural voice and expression. I 